Hello and welcome back to episode 3 of our Spirit Tea Let's Play. Um, so I just recently went to the dentist. It's been literal years since I last went to the dentist. So my mouth is in, it's not in pain, but like a little bit of discomfort. So I, there might be times where I just am not going to talk and that, oh, I have mail. And that's going to be the reason why. So this might be a little bit of a less like chatty playthrough but we'll see Let's see what we got in the mail wednesday the 10th we should get out there and do some fishing you do know how to fish right come on let's catch some nice ones so i can cook them up and sell them back to you julian okay yeah we can do that um let's check where he's at Last time I got Julian mixed up with, um, Young. Or was it... Was it Young? I don't know. Alright, so it looks like Julian's still at his place. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to think. Like, is there somebody... Mm. Dog, how did she get up there? Who is that? I don't know. Whoever we come across, we'll just talk to them. What's this? Hmm. Yeah, I did not forget about about this. It's Wednesday, so we can help Sujin today. Hopefully we'll be able to catch that stupid spirit that I've been chasing for two episodes now. Oh, is our- is the bathhouse done? I completely forgot that I upgraded it. Let's check. Yeah, I completely forgot that I upgraded it. It said that somebody was over here and I was like, how did she get up there? Oh, she's right here. The lady that used to live in your house liked to hike up on the mountain. I'd often see her heading up toward that big old building northeast of the town. It's a fascinating building, so I can understand why she liked it. I'm assuming she means the bathhouse. Alright, I honestly forgot what I upgraded. I think it was the, this bath over here to the top left. Or... Oh, it was the kitchen! Oh man, y'all, where do I get... Where am I supposed to get... Ingredients from? I have no clue. Um, while we're here, we might as well go ahead and do this. Huh? Why are there leaves right there? Hold on, what's up with that? Let me see if I can reach it with my handy dandy. See, I just have two more towels to wash and that's good. That's fine. Can we open the map? Okay, we can. Let's see if he is out and about. Um, yeah, he looks like he's by the school. Okay, let's go meet up with him. Oh, is this him? A 
it looks like it's him, but it says that he's by the school. So I would assume that it is him. Uh, how do I put it? Can I cook crab? <laughs> hmm? What's the big idea? Did you not ask to hang out, Julian? I've worked in a few conclusions before. They're not a place for the fan part. Okay. I guess he doesn't want to, uh, <laughs> fish. Let's just go ahead and pass the time until 5.30 so we can try to catch that spirit. What in the world was that? I'm not sure. By the way, what is this? Who it is? Oh. <laughs> nope. Okay. <laughs> oh, looks like we have some more berries down here. All right. Let's pass the time. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, we gotta be on a grind this time for real. Wait, how do I sprint? <laughs> Okay, let's just... I put my focus on. I don't know if I'm supposed to like interact with him. Oh, that's where he went. <laughs> then my spirit is quick. I'm pretty sure it went in here though. Look around for clues. There's small, odd-looking stone behind the rock. Press the stone. Oh! Okay. Creepy. <laughs> but slay, I guess. Eh? Oh, interesting. Ugh. We finally caught you. Wait, why are you tired? <laughs> It takes a lot of energy to fly this thing, all right? You you followed me? What's the big idea of analyzing the mortal's boat, huh? Uh, I was just following orders. Whose orders? Mine! <laughs> oh, a second spirit. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's smacking him! <laughs> Do you think you look cool up here or something? You look stupid! And you must be stupid to be telling spirits to cause problems for mortals. Ah, why shouldn't we? They don't care about us anymore. We're disappearing because of them. Did you ever stop to think that they don't think about you anymore because you stopped helping them? <coughs> That's not... Sometimes I... You grew complacent with their offerings and prayers and stopped holding up your end of the bargain. That's... Uh, it's not completely your fault. You should have had someone guiding you. Wait, uh, aren't you Wanyan? So what if I am? Dang, Wanyan a little passive aggressive. Oh my goodness. Cute. <laughs> then you sh shouldn't be the one guiding, but 
Orza? That was me, my name. He <laughs> cute. <laughs> Borzo? Is that you? No wonder I felt a connection to you. In my name. You mean you don't know? So you just boss around random spirits for fun? Yeah. Just a little bit. Oh my god, it's a tree. No. Well, I guess I'm... I'm Don't Worry. I remember now. Yeah, cute. Great, great. Does anyone else want to come out and piece together your life in front of us? No? Nobody else wants to waste more of our time? <coughs> I'm sorry, Wenyan. I'm the one to blame. I was the one telling Orzo to go and bother the mortals. I'd give you a few more whacks with my coin, but I'm scared your thick head might break it down. That's crazy. Instead, you two need to stay out of trouble. W we will, I promise. I wasn't done. You need to stay out of trouble and bring all your friends to the bathhouse. We need more customers. The bathhouse? I used to love the lotus flower elixir infused baths. We we'll tell everyone to come. Thank you, both of you. All right, now we're getting a whole lot of new customers, but we need to actually, by the way, in the last episode, I was saying Kudapika, but there was no A in Kurpika's name, so the name is actually Kurpika and not Kudapika. <laughs> My bad. Good grief. Well, at least Sujin shouldn't need to sleep with the knife on her bedside anymore. What? <laughs> Plus, we've got some more customers. Yeah, job well done. Okay. Oh, this is where we're at. I was wondering. The heck? No clue what that was. What is this? <laughs> so, I'm just going to assume... Let me get up my... I'm just gonna assume that, um... So can we travel back and forth? Ah, we can! Oh, what are those berries? Uh, like I was saying though, I'm just gonna assume that... We, um... We just need to collect... Ingredients... Instead of, like, buying them from somewhere. It's just my guess. Okay. Um, I want to see. Where is Julian? Okay. I wonder if there are other little sneaky ways that we could go. I don't know, but let's go to the. What store is over there? I don't know. What is the store over here? I think it's the barbecue place, right? I always look forward to visiting Stanville. It's my little slice of paradise. I spend way too much time online. Same, girl. Same. Oh, is this Sujin? My boat is named Lady because she's elegant and hardworking. All right, Queen. Hey, come on in. What can I get for you? I knew this was a barbecue place. <laughs> barbecue coming right up. Combine pork, onions, garlic, lettuce, rice, and sauce to create and eat delicious bundles of food. Feed bundles of food to yourself to gain stamina, or if you're eating with a friend, feed bundles to them to gain friendship. If you don't feed any food bundles to yourself, or to a friend if you're eating together, the hunger meter at the top will slowly rise. Once the hunger meter is full, you, or your friend, will eat some rice. When the rice is gone, it's game over. But don't worry, eating food bundles containing both meat and rice reduces the hunger meter. You have a limited amount of meat and rice, so the trick is to maximize the points you can create from your limited supply. First things first, to create a food bundle, start by grabbing a piece of lettuce, Move the cursor to lettuce and press E to grab some. Okay. 
Ingredients can be added to your lettuce bundle to increase the points it's worth. You can add as many ingredients as you like, but rice and sauce have decreasing points. Okay. So I didn't know this was a mini game. <laughs> Meat, garlic, and onions must all be cooked on the grill before they can be added to the lettuce. Okay, meat. Oh man, this is like a proper barbecue. So this one looks done. Oh! <laughs> okay. So question, how do we hang out? Like how do we ask other people to hang out? You know? God, it's finally a lick of free time. Huh? What do you want? How about some fishing? Do you even know how to fish? Fine, I guess I can show you. Boy, you're the one who asked me, the freak. You need a fishing rod in order to go fishing. You can purchase one from this from Song or Amelia at the local shop. The shop is closed though, ain't it? <laughs> I was trying to get him to fish this whole entire day, freaking loser. I don't know, I mean, we can see, I guess. The cherry blossoms around here are spectacular in the spring. Welcome, welcome, what can I get for you? Oh my god, I did not know about all of this. Bathhouse chest? Oh, we can get recipes from her. Rice cakes? A medium sized ramen? Oh my god, are you joking? <laughs> we I need to start making money. For now, let's just get the um the fishing rod. Yes, and luckily we have enough freaking uh mulax to get it. Okay, now can we just go to like any spot and go fishing? Let's go to the beach over here. Look at me carry my little fishing rod. Oh, oops. <laughs> I was trying to run. Um, okay, this way. This way, Julian. All right, let's see if we have to talk to him first. Oh. No, okay, um. Oh, look at us just fishing together. I have no clue what I'm doing, Julian. You're supposed to be teaching me. Oh my goodness, I don't know what I'm looking for. Okay, good, I am about to say. I don't know what I'm doing. To catch a fish, you need to fill up the catch bar before... Oh my god, no, I hate these ones. <sighs> okay. Aim the hook toward the fish using WASD. Fill the catch bar by pressing, by really pressing left shift. 
you need to hold the direction opposite the fish to aim the hook at it. Oh! Sticky keys! <laughs> Oh my god, I can't. My sticky keys. Sorry, y'all. My sticky keys is... Mm. I don't know how to turn it off. Um, okay. Bye, Julian. <laughs> Interesting. Can I collect the seaweed? I guess not. Alright, let's go to sleep. We got to get to work tomorrow. Let's see if I want to... If I want to write... Okay. We can check the board tomorrow for sure. The community board. For now, we will sleep. Oh. Sleep. Or something like, I'm trying to figure out how would I... How can I ask people to hang out? Like, can you only ask people to hang out after their shift is over? Question mark. Can you ask them before? I don't know. Okay, no postings. All right, cool. All right, we're gonna get to work. Just like everybody else is getting to work, we have work to do as well. Besides Lawrence and Quinn, of course. That's his name, right? Quinn, the bald-headed man who's very mean to me for no reason. I feel like I haven't made a lot of progress in this game. But maybe that's just me. I'm not entirely sure. Alright, let's get some wood. Do our chores. I'll go ahead and leave this portion in but if there's if there are other times where I'm going to work then I'll probably cut it out and um, here's some ASMR for you guys to enjoy Oh my god i literally just clicked on the duck just because <laughs> i was because i was literally just trying to figure out how to get rid of that uh, get rid of the apparent algae that's in the water and i just clicked on the duck just to click on the duck <laughs> go me
Literally, what is he doing here? <laughs> Wait. You should close every second of the bathroom myself. Yuck, yuck. How do I do something? What? Oh, whatever, man. I'm reacting myself. Yeah, I don't know about you, Anna, but it's getting pretty tiring having to do all this washing, carrying, cleaning, scrubbing. Boy, pretty sure I'm doing all of that. Hey, I'm helping in other, less physical ways. I mean, just seeing my cheerful and not at all menacing face makes spirits want to stay at the bathhouse long after they become pruny little raisins. What I'm getting at is this. We should get some help running the bathhouse. I see you wondering who could help. And the answer, my slow-witted sidekick, is that there- Oh, okay. <laughs> is that there is a whole town of helpers just down the mountain. Hmm? I'm talking about the townsfolk. Oh. I want a Kripika to be the- <laughs> Okay, sure. God, is that blank expression? I just want to- Here's what you should do. Use your, uh- looks and do some sweet talking to befriend some of the locals surely if you become a good enough friend you can reveal what we're doing up here and convince them to help us out <clears throat> i'm just saying it could really lighten the load when it comes to running the bathhouse just think of how many more spirits we could run through there anyway him <clears throat> get out of there oh anyway him <clears throat> get out there and make some workers i mean friends <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. So definitely not Quinn, because Quinn, or you know what? You know what? Quinn and Julian are always making fun of us. But what if we put them to work? Become their bosses, you know what I'm saying? Shoot. Our school's fearless leader, Bruce, has seemed a bit down lately. Maybe it's related to the broken glass I saw on the floor of his house the other day. Interesting. Bruce? I thought Bruce was a student. I'm gonna be so honest. I thought Bruce was a student. But that seems like something that we can maybe go investigate. Broken glass, huh? Let's see. Let's actually look at our notebook. Who was unemployed? Man, we haven't made any freaking, um... progress so far oh we can get skills in karaoke interesting um hobbies complete oh, I was kind of hoping oh the cat's name is radish <laughs> love that oh his name is quill not Quinn whoops I kind of hoped sort of that it would tell us who um does what drinking mm.
Dang, all of these people are alcoholics. <laughs> Something could be going on with Bruce. Huh, okay. For now, we can go to sleep. And we just have to start talking to like literally everybody. <laughs> 10 times more. I think I'm gonna cut this out because we're really not doing much. All right, I did check the um, notice board, I believe it's called. And I seen that there was two commissions that we could do. But before we do that, I wanna go to phase, uh, whatchamacallit real quick. Um, oh, one of his the hot springs. Aw, dang. Okay, so you can ask them to hang out. I'm still trying to fit. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that whole thing out. All right, so we have two Bruce and Sujin. Oh, Sujin again. Please help us keep an eye out for who is... Excuse me. Let's do Bruce, because Bruce is the one that we knew about first. Looking for recommendations for a durable, shatterproof picture frame. If you know a good brand, please let me know. Alright, where is Bruce? Okay, Bruce is there. Let's see if we can catch him before he wakes up. Okay. Um... I'm trying to improve my relationships with people. Uh, it was right by the school, wasn't it? Oh boy, I forget. I for oh, she's up there. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have three thousand. Oh, we have three thousand right now. Three thousand. Oh, we can do the small bath. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, Sunday, you got it. Perfect. Yay. All right. Let's see if we can catch him before he leaves. This is his place right here. Have we been inside of Bruce's place? I don't remember. Can we watch some TV? <laughs> we can. <laughs> Why is this so funny to me? <laughs> we just barge in. <laughs> oh, is this the glass that he was talking about right here? Oh my god, wait, put it put it back. <laughs> We're gonna wait till he wakes up. Oh, I think we have been in his uh, place before. Wow, he is tech savvy. Whoa, whoa. He's going quick. Hey, Anna. Have you ever had any encounters with ghost? Maybe. I get it. It seems like everyone's had an experience or two they can't explain. Anyway, I don't really believe in ghosts myself, but I got something weird going on in my house these days. Well, talk to me about it, Brucey. <laughs> well, it could be a ghost. There's preferable, that's preferable to the alternative. I don't know if you've seen it, but at my house, I've got a shrine there to honor my parents. Tra tragically, they both died from a mysterious virus that we still don't re really understand. I, uh, I spent a lot of time researching it, actually. I miss them, Anna. I miss them a lot. Oh, I'm sorry about that. S sorry, I'm I'm all right. It's just something keeps knocking down my parents' picture that I keep displayed in their shrine. That's messed up. <laughs> that is messed up. Like I said, I hope it's a ghost and not a manifestation of I don't know my parents' disappointment in me. Dang, feel that. I know I don't have any reason to complain. My life is good. It's what some people could only dream of. But money isn't everything, you know? I feel that. I just like to be able to come home from work and see that picture safely seated in the shrine and not smashed on the floor every day. Poor guy. This sounds awfully like the work of a spirit. We should check his house sometime when Bruce is working at the school. Which means right now. <laughs> Let's go. 
But Bruce is dirty. He didn't even like wash his hands, take a shower, brush his teeth or nothing. Oh, here it is. Hmm. All right. Okay. All right. Wait, so where's... The oh, this is the shrine. Okay, gotcha. I thought it was a record player. Okay, he's at the school. What am I supposed to do, Onion? I'm here. He's at the school, is he not? So we see this. Okay, there we go. I kind of figured we needed to do it on a weekday. You! <gasps> what do you want? Get away from my shrine, it's mine! Your shrine? I don't see anything here that looks like it was made for you. It is, it's mine. It, it was. It's all the mortals' fault. You need to calm down before I make you. What's this about being the mortals' fault? D don't hurt me. I'm, I didn't do anything wrong. And yet, I'm the one being punished. The mortals who built this house here, they destroyed my shrine to build this. This lousy excuse for a home. Th they did? Yes, it's so unfair. And it makes me so angry. So I wanted my revenge, but they died before I could even do anything. That's messed up, in both ways. <laughs> the ones in that picture, it's their fault I have no home. It's their fault I've become like this. We'll find you a new home. What do you mean? You, you'd really do that for me? We will? <laughs> then I'll... I'm not leaving here until you show me proof. You can't trick me. <sighs> it looks like we'll have to find the spirit of home before it, it will leave Bruce alone. Let's go for an empty shrine. Oh, let's go look for an empty shrine. Ah, uh, there's a ton of empty shrines. Um, I think there's one over here somewhere. I don't think this is a shrine, is it? No. I think there's a shrine somewhere over here that's empty. Oh, here's one. Will this work, Bonnie? East of the shop. Okay, so how do I fix up the sh This is the shrine he's talking about. How do I fix it up, though? If only there was a way to fix up the shrine. Can I... Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh! <laughs> well, I do, in fact, have some things need fixing. Um... Oh, this is where we buy the big red lantern. Okay, perfect. Wow, I, you know what? I just came here on a whim. I didn't even, I, I, I just was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and check the shop. But okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yay. Like, is, it, is this just a one use type of thing? Okay, guess not. All right, how are we looking? How are we looking? Do I have to use it one more time? Okay, gotcha. Nice, all right. Let's see if we can make it back before Brucey boy gets there. I don't know if that really matters, but you know. Just, oh, he is here. Okay, yep, it does matter. <laughs> okay, we'll um sleep really quick. 
Throw it with the soft spot. Soft spot, what? <laughs> they finished fixing up your shrine, you nuisance. Oh my god. <laughs> then you actually found me a shrine and you fixed it yourself? Yes, yes. It took a lot of work too, so you better be thankful. Making us waste our time. <laughs> We've got better things to do. Move locks to make. That is true. Show me, please. Right this way, Mr. Ghosty. Or Mrs. Ghosty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All yours. It's perfect. If you had said anything else, I would have ended you right then and there. <laughs> you, you, a mortal, showing such compassion. Yeah, you know me. Let me guess, it's all coming back to you now. Celine so Dion. Ooh. Oh, it's just a little old grump. <laughs> yes, your kindness has given me hope and cleared me of this fog. My name is Phineas. Phineas, you're an adorable old man. Oh my gosh, what's on his back? <laughs> I don't think I need to tell you what will happen if you continue to bother that mortal. Of course not, Wanyan. I'm ashamed that I became so lost. I was truly a fool. Yes, well, to make up for it, you can bring us some of your earnings of, at your new shrine. And in turn, we will provide you with bath. And in turn, we will provide you with baths the spirit can only dream of. Oh, ho, ho, that's quite the sales pitch. You can count on me stopping by. Thank you. Oh, and stop by the shrine later on. I've got some ideas. Call them old inspirations, maybe. Anyway, I think it'll be worth your while. No problem, Phineas. Well, meow. It's kind of refreshing to solve a spirit's problems without having any insults thrown around. Boy, you was throwing them around the whole time! Let's go back and check out that shrine you fixed up sometime later. Alright, you got it. Ugh. Actually, let's in. Alright guys, I think that was a pretty good productive episode today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!